2022 Playdate Community Awards. Oh my gosh. I'm uh, I'm really nervous. I'm afraid to change the screen. I'm going to do it anyway. Here we go. Hey everybody. Oh, we made it. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me let me fix these levels. We might be getting a little too hot all over the place. Hi everybody. Um we're super nervous. Um let me oh you know what i missed i already missed our intro music there it is now we have some some nice intro music coming in there all right all right welcome, getting my welcome everybody getting my jitters off whoo sorry that was a nice silent intro should have had some music um hi everybody uh my name is andrew gant this is donald babbins fraser hello Kyota. hello hello and uh i am live from los angeles Bubs is live from Aotearoa, New Zealand. Wonderful. And uh, we've been putting this show together for quite some time now. We are both, uh, in general, just Playdate fans. We do not work for Panic. We are of the community. We love Panic, but we are of the community and we are just so happy to be here. We just want to have a have a look at that that actually works we just wanted to throw a celebration for this great year that we've had i know a lot of us are waiting for play dates i know some of us have them but this helps no matter what if you have your play date or you don't this helps with your weight this helps with our community and we're excited to be here uh bubs do you want to introduce yourself first yeah okay um like i said i'm donald bubbins <laughs> fraser uh, in my spare time, I tend to build communities around the things that I love, and the Playdate community has been no different. So I'm currently the admin of the Playdate community squad Discord server, and I'm making a little game called Comet with my friends. Uh, I love the Playdate community. It's great to be here. Andrew, who are you? Uh, I am Andrew. Uh, Andrew Kant. I am the host of Tiny Yellow Machine. Uh, I do see audio notes coming in, by the way. I accept them greatly. I am, um, oh yeah, I see why Bubs is quiet. You know what? Here we go. That's not me? Okay. No, this is, this is me. This is what happens when you're pretty new to streaming. I started streaming in the pandemic when it started. Okay. N now, am I all right? now Gubs should be am better. Right? How is Gubs? <laughs> Gubs. <laughs> How is Bubs now? He should be much okay. better now. Well, I'm going to say that again, right? I'm Donald Bubs Fraser. I love the play date. And I love getting people excited about the things that I'm excited about and building communities. Um, and so, great to be here. I'm an admin on the Playdate Squad Discord, and I'm making a cool little game, could comment very slowly with some very cool people. Oh, you know what? Here we go. This is why it didn't work. Give I'm me a still... second. A third time? Oh, I see what's going on here. All right, so everybody, this is what's called, this is called a uh, menu boss. <laughs> this happens on <laughs> on all streams. And all right, Perfect. how are we now? Okay, Bubs is a legend in the Netrunner community too. Ah, thanks. Okay, so, wait, do I sound let's right? Just, let's just do a, a little sound check here. Yes, yes. Let's get a, let's get a, this sounds great from all the hello, hello. chat. Hello, 
this morning I ate chocolate flavored cereal. Okay, I think we're good now. And it's not bleeding, right, everybody? It's not like cracking up or anything. Much okay, we're getting, lots of, good. we're getting lots of uh, happy faces. Okay, thank you, everybody. That's going to happen. I am not a professional, but you can see that we worked our darndest on this. Uh, and things like this are going to happen. That's actually in my script here. Uh, everything is held together by duct tape, but in a very professional way. Uh, we spent so much time on the graphics, on organizing this. So bear with us if we do have a few little hiccups here and there. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Bubs, do you want to introduce yourself one final time? One more time, one more time. Okay, so uh, I love building community around the things that I love. I've done it a handful of times in the past. And I fell, my, fell into the Playdate community as well. The Playdate is awesome. The people have been awesome. And uh, maybe against my better judgment, I give a lot of my time to uh, trying to keep it awesome and uh, build awesome things for people. So uh, I'm an admin of the Discord. I'm making a fun little game. Uh, Andrew, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, you my, name, my name is Andrew. Uh, I did introduce myself uh, with a good mic. I run Tiny Yellow Machine. This is new information here. Tiny Yellow Machine started it because I was a group two uh, play dater and you know, that wait was really hard and I know you were all still waiting a lot as well, but starting a show, interviewing developers that helped with my wait. And now that I do have a play date, it continues to be uh, great and I'm super happy, but you know, I, li I love this community, and I don't think there's any other gaming community like this. Uh, from the top down, from Panic all the way through the fans, like it's so different from mm -hmm. any other thing I've nerded out with in the past. And I just love everybody, and it's just so accessible, so nostalgic, and um, yeah, that that's why we do it. We've got a pretty long show ahead of us. Yes. So <laughs> check out the little chat commands in the corner, but why don't we get going with our first little fun opener? Yes, let's start with a very fun and wonderful cameo. Hello, everybody. It's me, Cable Sasser. I am the co-founder of Panic and uh, have worked on Playdate since the beginning. And welcome to the Playdate Community Awards. Uh, how amazing that this exists at all. Uh, it's truly incredible for us. Playdate community is like the center of the Playdate. The stuff that people do on Playdate is what keeps us going, trying to make and ship handheld hardware in the year 2022 and 2023. 2022 was obviously a huge year for us, actually shipping and distributing these things and seeing the cool um, waves of excitement when a shipment arrives at people's houses was a definite highlight for us. Uh, I don't know if you can see right here, I've got the framed uh, serial number 000001 playdate. It's almost focusing, almost. Oh, it's trying so hard. Why is it so blurry, but my hand is so dark. Going from that, to uh, people having these units has just been mind boggling. Um, there's been so many, I mean, the highlights for us definitely are the games. And anytime we have a, a Playdate Cool Things channel in our Slack, and uh, m much of the content comes from uh, the folks here at uh, Tiny <laughs> Yellow Machine, but anytime something cool comes out, you know, we share it and, and can't believe that it exists. We also, of course, have many other channels in our Slack, like Playdate Support, which is not the most fun channel, but sometimes you get cool things like a person who accidentally, uh, due to their cat, washed their Playdate in the washing machine, <laughs> which did not necessarily go great. Yeah, I think the cat did a little uh, drop it into the laundry hamper, which, you know, I mean, little things like that stick with you. Uh, we're taking care of that, <laughs> but there's always something interesting going on in that channel. And, uh, you know, there's a channel for the stereo dock, which, you know, we'll talk about that later. And uh, there's lots of stuff going on all the time, but it's so cool that the year has just been filled with all of these great moments and memorable things and more than anything else, like I said at the beginning, incredible community. So, 2023, uh, where do we go from here? So, uh, we've been talking about it almost like it's the second launch of Playdate. The goal, of course, 
is to catch up with the pre-orders and get to a place where people can just buy a playdate when they want to buy a playdate, which will help with a lot of things. But before we get to that, our focus at the beginning of the year is all on catalog. And I don't know if you've heard of catalog, but that will be our on-device game store for the playdate. So you'll finally have a way to discover and browse games on the device. Of course, you can still sideload games from itch or elsewhere, um, but this will be the way to to do it right there on the play date. And I, let's see, can I do an exclusive reveal? I can exclusively reveal that you can look forward to a little bit of music that plays in the background as you browse the store. <laughs> that, a little bit of that Nintendo eShop magic may return next year in catalog. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, we're preparing a video uh, to discuss catalog and hopefully that drops not too long from when you see this. And um, yeah, so, catalog, uh, catching up with pre-orders, and then it becomes uh, content. What amazing games and cool things does the community make and do we reach out to people to just uh, keep the Playdate a super interesting platform? Uh, you know, we always, didn't always, but eventually had the dream of everyone can make a game for Playdate, and that still remains our dream. And I think catalog will be a way for everybody to really easily distribute their game directly to Playdate users, um, but it will be super curated and uh, super interesting. So anyways, uh, yeah, 2023, that's 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 the dream. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. One thing we've learned is that lots of weird things happen uh, <laughs> along the Playdate journey, but uh, yeah, look, please, please look forward to it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, I, I almost got off track, but I reeled it back in. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, Cable is the best. Mustachio yeah, and Kabbalah. Yeah, we're lucky to get him. Yes. Uh, what a delight! Thank you so much, Cable, for uh, chatting with us and and uh, doing that message. It meant a lot. And I see a lot of people here also talking about. Uh, things that are recorded and things that are live. So we have a lot of recorded stuff and a lot of live stuff. Not all the presenters can be here today. Um, our next time presenter, zones. yeah, time yeah. zones. We get, we're get we all over the place. So we have like about half and half, half live and half recorded. So, um, but yeah, once again, thank you so much, Cable. Thank you, Panic, for supporting this uh, community show as we've uh, gone through it this past month week <laughs> and so although weird, some of i know we can do that although some <laughs> parts of it are recorded um it's all going live through the pipes and so we can still break it don't worry about that yeah 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 i, I will be manually controlling every single scene that you see uh, so very breakable but uh let's continue uh just what you guys can look forward to after each presenter there's going to be a trailer reveal or two uh so throughout the show we are going to keep trying to surprise you and keep you excited besides the um, 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 uh, excuse me the amazing awards and presenters that we have so uh look forward to that look forward to the after party there's a bunch of chat commands right here that you guys can use whenever you want uh that explains some of the things that are going on today uh just type explanation point and that thing down there let's keep this show going uh for our first presenter we have okadrian which is a twitch streamer that i found in the very early days of playdate he was one of the first i think receive like a press model and he was very infectious such a nice guy, a very good community, uh, and he was playing we played eight games every weekend. So I had to reach out to him. We're so happy to have him. Yeah, and uh, really. without further ado, let's do the very first awards. Gubs, Gubs, I keep calling you Gubs. <laughs> Gubs, okay. Gubs. Let's do it. Any, anything else you want to say? Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? My name is Okadrian. I am a Twitch partner, Twitch ambassador, and also interviewer, host, esports, stage presence, that kind of stuff. You don't care, right? I don't either. What I care about is this right here. These are the Playdate Community Awards, soft clap. More importantly, I get to present the audio awards. And that's so fitting. Let me tell you a little story, all right? I got my Playdate. It's right here, right? I played Whitewater Wipeout, loved it. 
After that, I moved on to Casual Birder, right? I sat there, and you can look this up. I sat there playing it on stream, just listening to the main menu theme on loop. Like, legit, I... Something about good audio that makes you want to not tune away. I couldn't start the game because I was just sitting there like... And then I found myself humming that little jig wherever I went. I go out to get coffee, in line at Taco Bell, but that's the effect that audio has, right? It creates memories and moments, and it makes you want to appreciate all the hard work put in by the composers and the developers. And guess what? That's what we're doing right now. And I think it's only appropriate that we go from that moment to right here to discuss the best soundtrack. Because maybe you have your own very special moment with the play day, right? Maybe you had a moment you were listening to a song and you were like, oh my gosh, this is really good. I want to keep playing, but I can't. I want to share it. You take the headphone out and you give it to a friend. You'll listen to this real quick, right? You're waiting for a vinyl release, maybe? To pay the markup if you have to, because you got to hear it all the time. Of course, you can just listen to your play day, right? But we're going to celebrate overall... What is the best soundtrack as voted by you and judges? So without further ado, here are your nominees for best soundtrack. The first nominee is B360, composed by Factory Default and developed by Panic. Our second nominee is Casual Birder, composed by Maxo and developed by Rastronomical Diego Garcia. Our third nominee is Demon Quest 85, composed by Jared Emerson Johnson and developed by Cricket Park. And our final nominee is Tapeworm Disco Puzzle, composed by Tui and developed by Low Tech Games. Honestly, no cap. I'm so happy I'm not voting for the winner because Loki, I would do the exact same thing I did from ACTs, which is just like fill in each bubble slightly so you can say you kind of counted for all the answers. Not the case here. There has to be a winner. And the award for best soundtrack goes to... Tapeworm Disco Puzzle, composed by Tui and developed by Low Tech Games. Congratulations to everyone involved. And look at that, not even part of the season one package. You can get yours on itch.io, by the way. Great job to all involved. The second half of the audio awards is for best sound design. And that's so much to think about, right? It's being waist high in something and going, uh, ah, uh, uh, ah, ah. It's proper sound mixing. It's also like, you know, being in one scene and having the volume at the right level and the next scene not having to turn it all the way down. It takes a lot of work. So here are the nominees to appreciate that work put in for best sound design. A joke that's worth 99 cents, sang wonderfully by the Rain Bowen and developed by Kami Box, aka Philippe Stolemaire. I grant you three wishes to crack the joke. Our second nominee is Echoic Memory, developed by Samantha Kalman, Everest Pipkin, Carol Mertz, and Rochelle Viola. Our third nominee is Questy Chest. Developed by Datico. And our final nominee is Saturday Edition, developed by Wild Rose. You know, I can't help really quickly, but appreciate that this is the award for best sound design. And one of the best parts of having a play date is getting a brand new game and watching the opening process, but also listening to it, too. And the anticipation building up just like like right now. Oh, yeah. 
And the award for best sound design goes to... Echoic Memory. Congratulations to Samantha Kalman, Everest Pipkin, Carol Mertz, and Rochelle Viola. Nicely done, team. That's it from me. Once again, I'm Okadrian. I love handhelds, obviously. I love my Playdate. And I couldn't be happier for everyone who's involved in the Playdate community. Whether you're a musician, an artist, developer, whether you're Panic yourselves, or your tiny yellow machine. I'm happy everyone is doing the absolute most to make this community thrive and revive the handheld scene and put it to the forefront where it belongs. I'm looking so forward to the following years where we have season two, season three, more people creating their own games, more inventions and more possibilities. We can see play dates out in the wild everywhere. And just like other handhelds, who knows? Maybe we'll see ones with alternate color schemes, but I kind of don't want to because the yellow is kind of the thing, right? Ooh, maybe like different yellow themes. No one asked me, I'm sorry. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. All right, that went quick. We're back. <laughs> Man, it's so good to see all of the, everybody in the chat getting excited, uh, seeing the developers in there celebrating of their wins. Uh, really well deserved. Um, if you guys don't know, if you subscribe to Tiny Yellow Machine on Twitch, you get access to the little badge awards that we got made um, by the wonderful Alistair. Um, those awards can go on into the chat, or you know, those that are winning, uh, who win, you know, they can take those images from our wiki page and stick them onto your storefronts uh, or wherever you want, just to show off that you are uh, you made some amazing stuff. Yeah, um, collect those badges, nominees <laughs> and winners. Those are we worked yeah. hard on those, and by we I mean Alistair. He did great. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, uh, winner of. Center. Yes, yeah, congratulations, Alistair. Low Tech yes. Games, uh, if you're here, congrats on your uh, soundtrack win. Hey, this wouldn't be much of a game show if we didn't have some reveals and some trailers, so let's get to our first one. Let's do it. I'm excited. That was great, huh, Bubs? So great, Andrew. Looks um, like we have a uh, spoiler here of what's about to happen. Let me just <laughs> tuck that away. Hold on a second. Oh, no, leave it there. Leave it there. It, um, you know, there are three main pillars to the show. You know, we've got the awards, we've got the reveals, but we've got the community. And uh, that was really important to me when I thought up this, uh, the show here. And so the community award is about recognizing people that have either positively impacted the community made cool stuff or both and so we've got a handful of people we want to shout out today um and the first is gato talon and our very own 
Gant here. Um, you know, in the very early this. days, <laughs> <laughs> in the very early days of the community, um, there was people like Gato or Six Eighty O. Um, actually, I've got. You might recognise him from this photo right here. We couldn't get it into the show in time. Get it closer, closer. Even anyway, closer. the point being that uh, he made this amazing playdate zine. If you guys have ever seen it, it's like pages of like unique art, comics, ads for games, interviews. It was amazing. Um, Talon, uh, he made like a serial level production uh, podcast about uh, documenting the Playdates community's history with r slash place. That was the event that Reddit held earlier this year where you could place a pixel to draw a picture and expanded. And the whole story about Playdate, you know, being adopted into communities and being taken over, just like this really high quality stuff. And then Gant turned up and started posting a flipping live show on Twitch. And so I just really want to shout out all those guys. Um, Andrew, you have something you want to say? Yeah, yeah, I would, uh, yeah, Gato and Talon were some of the first two people in the Playdate Squad Discord. Check it out by doing Explanation Point Discord. Uh, join us if you need more Playdate in your life. Anyway, uh, I found those two and they were just, you know, all about the community. And I got really involved in the Reddit war uh, on our place, making it like fighting for each pixel to make a Playdate on that giant canvas. I just met so many people in the like the sub uh, channel and got really into it. And then he made that uh, podcast as one of the first Playdate podcasts on the scene. Now there's three wonderful ones. Uh, Hello Playdate podcast and Krista's wonderful official panic podcast. But uh, yeah, that first podcast really inspired me to do this. So um, anyway, congrats Gato and Talon, the first yeah. Community Hero Award. Cool. Let's get into our next trailer. Oh, another one. Let's do it. Wow. Oh, damn, that game looks good. <laughs> photo mode? Are you kidding me? A photo mode on play? Man, like, who cares about God of War photo mode when you can <laughs> zoom into delicious pixels? Yeah, like, really impressive. That's insane. I can't believe there's a photo mode. I'm so excited for that. Hey, uh, just quickly before we move on to yes. the next set of awards, uh, I just need to add that uh, Gato, 6 ATO, he actually created uh, the Mobware minigames trailer. And all that art, so we want to just give a shout out to him as well. Yeah, and looks like Okadrian just arrived. Uh, he's probably sitting at the Game Awards right now. You missed your part, buddy, but it went great, and everybody loved you. Just letting you know. Um, speaking of presenters, the next presenter will be May Lee from Boogie Loops. Um, you guys have to go to her official website and check out her bio. 
Um, there is so many surprising, interesting. I, I, I'm gonna go back to it after the show. There's so much on that website that you need to check out. Not only is she an amazing developer, she's a DJ, she's so many things. Go check out her website when you get a chance. Um, but let's bring her in. She is recorded as well. And after that, we're I think we're gonna have our first live guest. So let's go to the next awards. Hi. I'm Maylee Koo, glad to be with you all today for the Playdate Community Awards. I'm an artist, a writer, a designer, among other things, musician, uh, DJ sometimes, <laughs> and general dabbler in all kinds of creative things because I like to be a curious cat and get into all sorts of trouble. So, um, a few years ago, well, many years ago now, I was invited by the good folks at Panic to be part of the very early beginnings of what back then was called Asheville. And this was me being invited with Andy Matushak for the two of us to work on something together. We wound up working on Boogie Loops, which is in season one of Playdate, which is a music and dance creation toy where a bunny, a panda, a cactus, and a pizza all run off in the woods together to start dancing and you're the one that needs to come up with the music. So I never really thought I would find myself in the situation of trying to make a pizza and a cactus and a bunny and a panda twerk, but sometimes life brings you surprises. And one thing I learned in the process of doing that is how much difference a single pixel can make especially when the screen is only 400 by 240 pixels. A single pixel on a cactus butt can change it from looking like a cactus butt to not quite what I intended. With that said, I'm especially excited today to be introducing the Visual Awards. There's three awards for one, outstanding visual achievement in a pulp game, two, Outstanding Visual Achievement in an SDK game. And three, best launch experience. So let's get started by looking at some amazing pulp games. Let's start with some good looking pulp games. The award for a visual achievement in a pulp game goes to games that think outside the 8x8 box. The first nominee is Along Came a Spider developed by Fat Nose Games. Our second nominee is Art7. Art, 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 art. Developed by Leadbetter. Oh, I didn't say art enough times. I'm gonna lose count. I'm not gonna try. Look, it has a cactus! Our third nominee is Castle Helios, developed by Jung Jung Bu. And our final nominee is Island, developed by Ron Lent. It's so cute. Look at the tiny couch. Watch sunset. Yes, please. So beautiful. So I was, I was saying earlier, incredible just the range of stuff people are accomplishing as we're seeing in our nominees, just with the tiny, tiny number of pixels and the two colors. So the award for Outstanding Visual Achievement Award in a pulp game goes to... Suspense, drum roll. Island, developed by Ron Lent. Such a great example of what can happen with these carefully chosen constraints and the hands of some really creative people. All right, let's look at our nominees for Outstanding Visual Achievement Award in an SDK game. The first nominee is Necro Crisis. What a name. Developed by Strangest.io. I mean, just look at that. Who knew you could make pixel art feel goopy? That lower left 
blobby effect, man. Our second nominee is Spellcorked, developed by Jada Gibbs, Nick Splendor, and Ryan Splendor. Man, this is making me want... I'm thirsty now. <laughs> the sound. And I also love how zooming all the way in using this screen or zooming all the way out can create totally different effects with this pixel art. Our third nominee is Stars of the Screen, developed by MUFON Cloud. This game is so creative. It's like, man, how are people coming up with this stuff? I, I love that. This is the thing I love the most about platform creation, just seeing people run with it and do this kind of stuff. And, and this ending message, so good. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Our final nominee is Zipper, developed by Bennett Foddy. And man, I always love a good isometric. It's just, I mean, enough said. All right, all right, all right. Who is going to win this? The award for outstanding visual achievement in SDK game goes to, drum roll, Spellcourt, developed by Jada Gibbs, Nick Splendor, and Ryan Splendor. Our next award, this next and final award that I'm with you for today is the award for best launch experience. I love this because it's highlighting a detail that doesn't necessarily have to be there, but just like any temporal experience, whether you are performing a dance or you're coming on stage as musicians, one of the things I've learned as a performing artist is the way that you come on stage and start your set or your dance or whatever it is and the way that you come off the stage, those are things that really matter. They're designed. And so we're gonna take a look at the kinds of things that our game creators have been doing with their launch experiences. This is where they have an opportunity to tell an entire story, set an entire vibe, and I'm excited to see what we've got. So, the first nominee is Bloom, developed by RNG Party Games. This is beautiful. It just sets an entire vibe. Our second nominee is Kranken's Time Travel Adventure, developed by Uvula. And as you can see here, the entire story background is being set up in a matter of seconds. Incredible. And our final nominee is Sparrow Solitaire, developed by Vogelscript and Gingerbeard Man, who have incredible names and also look at all these adorable tiny little cute icons. So good. Our third nominee is Rocket Bites, developed by Possibly Axolotl. I love this sound visual combo. All right, the award for the best launch experience goes to, drum roll. Rocket Bites, developed by possibly Axolotl. So good. All right, y'all. Thank you to the Playdate Community Awards for having me here today. I'm so excited to see what else people come up with in these 400 by 240 pixels and just two colors where every pixel counts. 
and you can create an entire world in this tiny screen. All right, y'all. Till next time. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome. May Lee did such an awesome job. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. awesome. Congratulations, hey, well, Axolotl. He's in the chat right now. Yes. Lots of awesome winners in that uh, set of categories, our visual awards. Um, if anybody is new to the Playdate community and don't know what the term pulp or SDK means, uh, just a really quick, quick explainer. Uh, Panic made this very accessible tool called Pulp. It's a little game development environment that lives inside your web browser and it makes it really easy to make some amazing games as you've already seen. Uh, and the SDK is Software Development Kit. It means it's kind of the full breadth of tools that Panic has made available to developers to make really amazing things like a photo mode in a driving game. <laughs> yeah. Hey, next awesome. up we've got two back-to-back -back trailers. As I reckon we just get into it. Let's do it. Trailer time. All right, those are two return devs coming in with uh, two great trailers. Both of those devs are nominated tonight. We got Mouflon Cloud with Stars of the Screen, who was the first trailer for Llama Go Up. I don't care what he makes a game about, uh, as long as he's writing it and putting his quirky humor into it, uh, I'm, I'll buy it. Uh, <laughs> the other one is Fat Nose Games, fat, uh, also from Along Came a Spider. Looks like we got a second one coming. And Fat Nose is what I like to call, what Twitter has officially named, one of the pulp four horsemen. Who <laughs> all, all four of them are nominated back to back, almost, almost in every yeah. pulp category. Obviously, we, we won't reveal the full judging process. You can look on the wiki to kind of see what that was like. Yeah. But we didn't even notice until it happened. That was very natural. And many right. games kind of 
we're in contention for all those categories, but it's yeah. funny to see it. By the time we put everything, like the final list together, we're like, oh my god, these four are in every, <laughs> every single thing. Um, yeah. It's awesome. All right. Well, we're going to try <laughs> to our first live guest now. Uh, good luck to us. We've done our best to prepare for it. Uh, there are so many moving bells and whistles with this, so we're going to do our best. Uh, we are going to bring in Neha Patel, the composer of Lost Your Marbles. Uh, she was she jumped in to a couple of our shows um, back in the day when we were playing Lost Your Marbles, and I'm still laughing my butt off in that game. I'm purposefully doing the wrong scenarios just to... Uh, like the story gets so messed up like right now i'm showing children a flyer of my dog's butt um because i've messed up so many times that the story is just like so far past but anyway sweet baby ink neha oh, bring, her in, eh? bring her in bring her in let's see if this works <laughs> let's see let's see uh okay <laughs> hold on oh don't laugh yet i haven't switched i haven't switched okay. See? It we works. did it! We did it! Hey. 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 All right, all right. The next, the next beast we have to. Oh, look at my mouse hand. My mouse hand is on your, uh, your chest, uh, Gov. Let me move myself behind you. There we go. All right. Um, hi, how's it going? How are you doing today? Still alive. How are you? I'm good. I think your mic sounds good to me. Let's ask Chat if they can hear you. Uh, why don't you say anything at all that you want? I just want to make sure everybody can Hi, hear you. Hi, Chad. Can you hear me, Chad? How are you doing, Chad? Do you want to maybe introduce all right. yourself? Yeah, we got oh, it. Yes, no, so she can't introduce board. herself. Remember what happened last time, Bubs? You had to introduce yourself three times until we got the audio right. <laughs> all right. Everybody says she sounds good. Um, how's your day going? What are you up to? Not bad. Oh, regular work day and then this. So here I am. It's really Yay. cool outside. So, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you for being here. Um, really appreciate you joining our streams in the past as well. We love your music. Uh, we love everything uh, about you, but I will let you take over the show now. And uh, why don't you start by introducing yourself and I'll just keep driving with you. Of course. Oh, y'all are so nice. And thank you so much for organizing this. I can see how much work this is, everyone. Oh, my God. Um, so, hi, my name is Neha. I'm Neha Politan on Twitter. I'm a composer, sound designer. And uh, currently, I'm working on this game called Benpa, which is a cooking narrative game about an Indian mother immigrating to Canada in the 80s. So it's very personal, very touching. Um, a bunch of other NDAs. But more importantly, for the play date, I worked on Lost Your Marbles, where I did the whole music and song design and fun fact we did this at the beginning of the pandemic so like march april 2020 uh so it was the height of everything being locked down i never met the team members ever so it was it was quite an experience um and i also worked on this a second game for the play Day that hasn't released yet but it's a recommendation bug you're a dog you have a rolodex what can i say more uh and it was a great project where we actually got to have like mts so we're two composers on the project and we all work together. It was really fun. So enough about me. Um, let's get to the awards. Um, I'm here to present the award for best arcade game and best sim strategy game. So let's head on to the arcade. So a great arcade game is something that's easy to pick up and play test your skills, and makes you want to come back and beat your high score. Something really addictive, right? Um, our nominees, they all fit and fulfill those requirements exceptionally. So the first nominee is Fish and Feathers, developed by Volvo Script. Our second nominee is Flipper Lifter, developed by Serenity Forge. Our third nominee is Hyper Meteor, developed by Vertex Pop. And our final nomination is Whitewater Wipeout, developed by True High Labs. So, uh, make believe drum roll sound. These are really great games. Who's gonna win? I don't know. Well, I do know, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, the award for the best arcade game goes to. <gasps> drum roll, drum roll. 
Hyper Meteor! Yay, Vertex Follow! Congratulations! That is amazing! Uh, you just won this arcade game! Yay! <laughs> so, congratulations, Vertex Follow! Hyper Meteor is instantly recognizable, but that it quickly surprises you. What a great achievement! Um, so, now we're moving on to our next little category. Uh, sometimes you just want to, you know, slow down and plan your next move, take a chill. These sim strategy games are perfect for that. Here are the nominees for the best sim strategy game. Um, our first nominee is uh, Conquest of Helios, developed by Zhang Zhengbu. Our second nominee is Questy Chess, developed by Tarako. Our third nominee is Sasquatchers, developed by Chuck Jordan. And our final nominee is Zipper, developed by Ben and Potty. So we're back to it. Who's going to win? We're all winners, right? We're all winners. Uh, but we are going to have to choose one. And the award for the best sim strategy game goes to... Da -da 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 -da. Zipper! Congrats, Ben and Potty! Yay! Best sim strategy game. <laughs> So uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, and thank you both for having me. This was really fun. And I hope the rest of your evening goes really well. And congratulations again to all the winners and nominees. Y'all are all exceptional. Uh, and yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. That was awesome. That was our first uh, live <laughs> presentation. I think we, uh... I think we were Nothing successful. Caught. We're alive. It worked. <laughs> Everybody good? Are we all still here? I can't believe that actually worked out. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here once thank again. You, uh, we really appreciate it. Really excited to see what you're drumming up over there at Sweet Baby Inc. Um, <laughs> feel free to put in chat any of those games that you're working. What the first game you mentioned about cooking? What console is that on? Oh, so we just, uh, we were featured on that in the world a couple weeks ago. So we will be releasing uh, on the Switch in the spring and PC and other stuff that I may or may not say. Oh, but it's called Venba, V-E-N-B-A. Okay, awesome. Uh, That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. And um, yeah, I, I just want to keep talking to you about Sweet Baby Ink <laughs> stuff, but I'm just going to shut my mouth because... We're probably not allowed to. You can't to. say anything. Yeah. <laughs> but the, uh, the, the little snippets of games we've seen coming up look really great. Yeah, yeah. Like real steel as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you so Wait, much. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. I was go ahead, Bubs. <laughs> no, was when can we see more? Yeah. I can't say anything. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Nice try. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank well, you for coming. Thank yes. Thank thanks you. again. Um, we'll say bye to you in the Zoom, and we're going to go straight into another trailer. Get excited. And... Welcome to Gravity Express Full Hardy Pilot. To receive your license, you must complete our totally safe pilot orientation obstacle course. In case you're wondering why we use lethal obstacles in our training, clients won't pay extra for your funeral, nor will Gravity Express. Remember our company slogan, you can die on your own time. Good luck. I hope you'll become a valued employee and not smoking wreckage. Smoking wreckage. Take yeah. it away, bubs. Take it away. When uh, I think Nino, when he originally shared uh, 
development, like little snippets of Gravity Express, and he showed us that image of uh, the FMV. I I was so impressed. It's uh, I actually thought maybe he'd done like some deep fake kind of creation to get make that, but um, wow, very very cool. Um, I saw some people in the chat talk about how punishing the game looks, at least in the time that I have had to be able to play it. Uh, I think it actually controls really, really well on the playdate, and so I think everyone should really look out for that one. I'm excited. Um, yeah, now we've got our second community award. Next, community hero. Yay! Bring out the badge. Oh, you want it now? Oh. All right, I'm going to bring okay, it out. Cool. Okay, I'm okay, going to okay. bring it out. The next community hero is... Eric Lewis, very Eric Lewis Bravo. is awesome. Bravo. Awesome. Uh, I'll read what I've got written down here. Over the past six months, Eric's face would pop up, and lo and behold, he's doing something else amazing. <laughs> uh, here's an app that emulates the first Tamagotchi. It was reverse engineered by a microscopic image of the die. Here's an itch.io sync manager. Here's a library I made to port uh, Ardu Boy games to the Playdate. Uh, not to flex on everybody, but here, let me show off how I can make a pseudo 3D first person shooter in Lua. Um, so, wow, even though my development skills are that of an ant, I can already tell, uh, you know, it's really impressive how quickly and how proficiently Eric has been able to make some amazing stuff. And I've got uh, a quote from somebody in the community here. Ooh. He said that Eric's input has been instrumental in developing a better understanding of the deeper parts of the playdate and how things really tick under the hood. I'm sure his work one day proved to be the foundation of some crazy apps and games that take the hardware of the playdate to its limits. So we really thank you. Oh, uh, this here, this is Eric. If there you've is. seen that That's face Aaron, on the Aaron. Discord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is Eric. Um, yeah, it's great to have Erica as part of our community when he um, shows up. That's awesome. And you. didn't did he not? And I could be wrong. I could be speaking completely out of turn here, but didn't he have something to do with helping Shining and Shadow Gadget get online? Exactly right. Yeah. So he, um, I mean, the strangest guys can talk about this a little bit yes. more than I. But yeah. basically, strangest. he was like, Type "Oh, it out. I can, I can make like a multiplayer game and make you know." the playdate communi <laughs> communicate with the computer and so the whole foundations of what uh, uh, Shining Gadget is built on is yeah. based on the work that Eric did yeah great yeah. point crazy it's all over my head but I can just tell uh, that there's some magic going on there for sure yeah he's uh, done some crazy stuff um, yeah I also want to mention before we bring in our guests just to remind everyone we still have so much cool stuff that's coming up in the show we have some insane reveals. We have, uh, we're almost to halftime. We have a halftime performance. An amazing halftime performance, yes. <laughs> and we have, and we have an after party. So um, I hope you're having a good time. I'm having a good time. I'm I hope you guys time. can hear. I hope there's music playing because we're not allowed to hear it just the way the show is working. But I hope you can hear some music right now. Um, yeah. Say yes in the chat if you can hear music. That would make me feel good. Oh, yeah, yeah music, music is, is fine. fine. Right now, you Very should good. be listening to Pick Pack Pups Radix. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get on to the next set of general awards. Sorry. Let's do it. Uh, genre awards. Yeah, and uh, we are going to bring in Matt Sefton. Uh, he is in the UK, so the time zone's a little wonky. He has recorded, but I will let him introduce himself. He's been on our show before just so interesting also back to websites has this blog that is just so incredibly intricate on handheld gaming and gaming in general and things that just will expand your mind of what you haven't thought of before so besides being a developer there's all that anyway yeah let's let him introduce himself i uh, hope everybody's having a good time hi i'm matt sefton also known as ginger beard man you may know me from such games as circular sparrow solitaire Bender and Daily Driver. I've been involved in Playdate since some time before the introduction of the developer preview, which coincided nicely with the start of the pandemic and a sudden increase in my free time. It's been a real pleasure to watch Playdate come to market and see the community grow. In particular, I love the new ways to play that the cute console with a crank offers and the enthusiasm shown by the community for new concepts. So, thanks for having me. That's gotten with the awards. I'm here to present two awards, Best Puzzle Game and Best Action Game. 
First, let's figure out who's going to win the award for best puzzle game. I love a good puzzle game. Whether I'm winding down or going deep into the zone, as long as it gives my brain a workout, I'm happy. Playdate is home to a wide range of puzzle games, and here are four of the best. The first nominee is Omaze, developed by Gregory Kogos. Our second nominee is Pick Pack Pup, developed by Nick Manier, Arthur Hammer, and Logan Gabriel. Our third nominee is Shift, developed by Scenic Root Software. Our final nominee is Squish, developed by Poor Print Games. I love all those games, but for different reasons. Omaze, because it packs so much into such a little package. Pick Pack Pup, for its irreverent sense of humor. Shift, for its attention to detail and Squish for making me feel more intelligent than I really am. So, the award for best puzzle game goes to... Omaze, developed by Gregory Kogos. the award for best action game. All of these games got my blood pumping and my arm cranking when I played them. Four really excellent games. A Balanced Brew by Frank B. Sag Games. Our second nominee is Crankin's Time Travel Adventure, developed by Uvula. Our third nominee is Inventory Hero, developed by Panic. Final nominee is Star Sled, developed by Panic. It was so great to watch the development of a balanced brew on the Playdate Dev Forum. Quite a journey, and it came out really well. So, the award for best action game goes to A Balanced Brew, developed by Frank B. Side Games. It's easy to think of a use for the crank, but another thing entirely to be able to implement it as well as it has been in this game. Well done, Rob, at Frank B. Side Games. That's a really excellent use for the crank. Hey everybody, I cut Matt off. He had a lot of good things to say about these uh, games, so I'm gonna rewind it real quick. It was so great to watch the development of A Balanced Brew on the Playdate Dev Forum. Quite a journey, and it came out really well. Kranken's time travel adventure I've followed since the Edge cover story, and I'm happy to say it was just as fun as I'd hoped. Inventory Hero really made me sit up and take notice as it upended the table with its game design. Star Sled really speaks to the old arcade game lover in me. I had a really great time playing Panic's game. Nice work, Greg and team. So, the award for best action game goes to... A Balanced Brew, developed by Frank B. Side Games. It's easy to think of a use for the crank, 
but another thing entirely to be able to implement it as well as it has been in this game. Well done Rob at Frank Beside Games, that's a really excellent use for the crank. Told you there'd be hiccups everybody. <laughs> that's our first one, I think we're doing pretty good though. All right, here we go. Let's say goodbye to Matt. All that remains is for me to say thanks for having me and see you around. I mentioned earlier that I love Playdate for new experiences and new ways to play, and there are a ton more of those on the horizon for 2023. Let's look forward to playing them. Have fun. Could have been worse. I could have given <laughs> the wrong award out. <laughs> hey, okay. I'm... Um... <laughs> I'm so glad to have Matt in our community. Like yes. during the real dark days, the very early before the pulp, uh, before the playdate shipped, and before pulp or anything like that. Like that. As a playdate fan, you were just kind of ravenous for like anything you could read about, like people doing in pulp. And there were two games really early on that uh, you know people that were developing stuff. There was Atlantic Forty One, which we're still waiting to see Ooh. more of. Ooh, and then please. there was Daily Driver. And so Matt had these awesome blogs, like you said, just talking about his process and. You know, I was just like, ah, this is looks so good. And I was so thankful when you got Matt on your show to really see him and to see how passionate he was yeah. just about just just the things he's interested in. It's just he's great. So thanks for coming on, Matt. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Um, should we do another trailer? Another trailer. Let's do it. This is going to be a big one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Blast off. Yeah, and I've got my own spin-off. Always end your trailer with an explosion or a death <laughs> <laughs> and a scream. Uh, that uh, looks so great. The physics in that is just uh, get that hand out of here. You're in my face. The, fi the physics and uh, the physics in that game looks so great. I can't wait for. Uh, to see that anyway yeah. now you can now you, now you present that award right there well this award's right here you know it's begging to be presented it is. um our third community award goes to our community hero is uh drum roll unbelievable flavor now you guys may not know this man let me quickly bring up this photo Ta -ta -ta. this face do you know this face oh yeah yeah i know that guy <laughs> you know that face um I, I know Unbelievable Flavor wasn't the only person doing it, but it's so good uh, that for a good wee while here, Unbelievable Flavor seemed like he was the only person updating the Playdate wiki. I think wikis uh, are really important uh, to a community. Um, you know, there are people that are outside the community that are like, oh, you know, there's this Playdate now. They see the Playdate wiki and they see a bunch of cool games. And uh, he was a real hero for updating that. I love to see it. You know, he would be in the, the thread saying like, oh, I added three games today, or four games were added to Itch, so I added all of them to the wiki. Like, he's just very uh, diligent there, and it was just awesome. Um, not only did Unbelievable Flavor help with the wiki, but he was a really active member of the Pulp channel on Discord, and so when Pulp kind of stopped being developed a little bit, uh, he went and created Pulp Plus uh, extension Ooh. for, you know, Chrome browsers. They added heaps of really good quality of life features that people were asking for, and it just made all of us so happy. Um, and not only that, he also made a framework called Cotton, which was kind of like a bridge between ah, Pulp and the SDK yeah. to allow people to kind of use a Pulp script kind of language and tool, but to make a game that was a bit bigger, certainly had a lot better performance. And so I really appreciated everything that Unbelievable Flavor has done for our community this year. So thanks, man. Claps in the chat. Yeah. Claps if you got Flavor. If you got any yeah. sort of any emoji at all in the chat will do just fine 
Mate, right. I bet you're really excited about our next set of genre awards. This is the oh, last set of our genre yes. awards. Oh, we've got a pretty great guest. Yes. Um, let me up. Oh, hold on, hold on. Where am I checking at? There you go. This guest coming up, or shall I say guests with an S. <laughs> My mic may have silenced that S. These guests, guests bring me so much joy. Uh, I met them in the very early days of play on Twitter. They were posting insanely hilarious Playdate content videos to advertise their game, White Water Wipeout. We are talking about Chu High Labs. They are just getting out of their beds in Kyoto, so they are recorded. But I see Kinzilla is in the chat. Maybe she's still in her PJs having some coffee. But Kinzilla, thank you for doing this. Mark Lentz, I'm sure you're around here too. But, you know, enough of me talking about you. Let's get you guys in here. Three, two, one. Too high labs. <laughs> <laughs> when you wear a cowboy hat, do you instantly, like, is it like a persona? Well, concern it. <laughs> These oil wells just ain't going to give anymore. <laughs> Kinsey, do you have a, a story to tell about the play date? I'm Kinsey Burke, and I love the play date. Sick. <laughs> Playdate, Playdate Community, Community Awards. Awards. I'm Mark Lenz. And I'm Kinsey Burke. And we're from Two High Labs in Kyoto, Japan. We made Whitewater Wipeout. That was the first game you got on your Playdate in Season 1. Season 1, the very first game you've ever played in your entire life. Why are we here today on this live stream, Kinsey Burke? We are here to present some awards! Such as? And we're going to be presenting <laughs> the awards for Best Adventure, Best Narrative, and Best App Slash Knickknack. And App Knickknack. App Knickknack. App slash knickknack. You say slash. App slash knick. I usually say slash. Yeah. App knickknack. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you don't say slash and face off. I can say whatever I want. You say face slash off when you're talking about the movie? Because that's a slash. Whoa. <laughs> I'm pretty excited, Kinsey. Hell yeah. Let's get this adventure started. All right. Let's see those awards. The next award is going to an award that is very close to my heart because it's my favorite genre, and that is the award for the best adventure game where you're the hero of your own story. And the nominees are Casual Birder, developed by Diego Garcia. Island, developed by Ron Lent. Ratcheteer, developed by Sean Emmon, Matthew Grimm, and Charlie Davis. And lastly, Saturday Edition, developed by Wild Rose. And the award for best adventure game goes to Ratcheteer, developed by Sean Emmon, Matthew Grimm, and Charlie Davis. Congratulations to the Ratcheteer team. You crafted a true adventure with a compelling hero story. And now you all are also heroes. And now for our second award, why don't you uh, come take a seat by the fire and let us tell you a story about the best narrative game on the playdate. And the nominees are Bloom, developed by RNG Party Games. Casual Birder, developed by Diego Garcia. Demon Quest 85, developed by Crooked Park. Saturday Edition, developed by Wild Rose. Well, that's all the nominees. Let's see which one of y'all has the best rootness tootness. Well... 
Well, well, things are looking real mighty tough with these nominees. Let's see who wins. And the award for best narrative game goes to Saturday edition, developed by Wild Rose. Congratulations, making a narrative game is uh, pretty staggering, and the fact that you were able to pack all of that onto a play date is, uh, is something worth congratulating. Congratulations. And our final nominee is Stars of the Screen. And the award for best narrative game goes to Saturday edition. Developed Hold up, everybody. <laughs> I got to fix something real quick. Is, uh, pretty staggering. In the fact Give me one second, and here we go. Play date is for our final award, we now present the award for best app slash knickknack. These are all small experiences that pack a big and fun punch. Voice over. And the nominees are guys are a, a joke that's worth 99 cents developed by Cami Box. The great fairy says, I grant you three wishes. Does to crack the joke. Three guys are sitting in a bar. When a Boogie Loops, developed by Mary Lee Co. and Andy Mutushak. France Horn, developed by Thu. And our final nominee is Stars of the Screen, developed by Mouflon Cloud. I love that the Playdate is such a great machine for both big and small experiences like these. And the award for best app or knickknack goes to... A joke that's worth 99 cents developed by Camibox. The game's bouncy butt came out strong when the Playdate got released. And we will never forget that butt. Crank up the game, it's the crankiest game with the bounciest butt in the world. It's Bouncy Butt, cracking the... Playdate Community, Community Awards. Awards! Well, Kinsey Burke, this has been pretty exciting. Uh, we got to see all of those winners. Uh, we're recording this out of order right now. So it's uh, we're we don't even know, guys. That's how excited they can't know we are. we're recording it. Right. This is a live stream. It is. Dude. It is it's December so eighth, twenty twenty three, and here is my newspaper. To the show future. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty excited about uh, what's going to happen next year with the playdate. I think there's a lot of cool things that are coming up. Uh, the the speaker. I know that's not like community made, but like think of all the things that people can make for the speaker. That's going to be so awesome. Think of all the amazing like playdateized music coming out of that thing. I cannot wait yeah uh i'm looking forward to an app that uh i'm working on with my boss giles we're working on a uh yeah it's true we're working on a video wait we're working on a photo timer don't worry about it it's a photo timer you don't need it it's a knickknack <laughs> dude <laughs> but i'm making it and i'm feeling pretty excited uh what about you kenzie I'm really excited just on all the innovation that always seems to be on the play date. That's not an answer. It is the answer. <laughs> that crank is awesome, man. It is. It is awesome. It's cranktastic. Uh, so thank you very much to the play date community awards, all the winners, all the nominees, and all that other stuff. It's been an honor to be here. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Chew high level. We love you. Yeah, we're so lucky to have you guys, Mark and Kinsey, in the show. Oh, yeah. Um, 100%. Your offices look so awesome. Um, We're just lucky to have uh, people like you in the community, uh, developers like you in the community out there making that sweet content. <laughs> yes. Content. Yeah, give me all of it. Anything they, they put out, I'm, I will watch a thousand times. Um, they yeah. also have a podcast, too. Oh, Legally okay. the best podcast is, uh, is what you need to listen to. Too high. Drop that in the chat when you get a second. Yeah, um, maybe I should listen to that True High podcast when I'm in Japan in just a few weeks. Well, yeah, is this your formal? Uh, yeah. By the way, everybody, this is uh, True High Labs. Let me introduce you to my friend Gub Bubs. 
Bye. He will be in Kyoto very soon. Minutes from your office. Just minutes from the Chuhai office. Just minutes. Who knows um, what, what would happen? Please give him anything uh, top secret and uh, bring it on back to us. Happy to Go. come play test. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a great. He, he, you are a great play tester, aren't you? Yeah. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, we've had a long show. Uh, we've still got a bit more to go. Um, lots of awesome hype energy uh, yes. from the True High uh, folks. But let's uh, let's mellow it out here with a beautiful trailer that I'm, a game that I'm really excited to see more of. And then right after that, we're going to go straight into the halftime show. A wonderful performance by a special guest. So much great stuff left. Here we go. One, yes. two, three. Bam. Silent but deadly. That trailer. I love that trailer. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. So wonderful. They were they were very worried about not having music, but forget it. Oh, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you just don't need music. Just sit in it, you know. Yeah. Thank you for. Um, I believe that is 3D Printist is at least the. Yeah. 3D Printist is the developer of that. Yes, and uh, who is a desk champion from one of my previous contests, <laughs> by the way. Um, yeah, thank you for making that um, for us. I know he didn't have time to put in uh, music, but it didn't matter. Killed it. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Would you like to tell us about this halftime show we got coming up? I mean, what does it just tell? I, I think it should speak for itself. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say one thing without blowing it. Okay. This, what you're about to see, is also coming from the developer who won Soundtrack of the Year. Granted, he had a composer working with that made the soundtrack but this is still coming from the same person and it is wonderful so yeah, without this further, a quick little idea we cooked up and i'm so glad he was able to execute on it it was awesome without further ado here is a musical performance done only with tiny yellow machines also known, <laughs> also known as playdates everything you're about to hear was recorded and performed on the playdate through the mirror app a rendition of the Playdate theme, performed by Alistair Lowe, using five different Playdate instrument apps. ending what an ending <laughs> i wish i could do that <laughs> oh uh, i gotta love that cowbell that was really good that was uh alistair low of low tech games 
the developer of Tapeworm Disco Puzzle, crushing it. And also the developer of, I believe that Hurdy Gurdy app that he was using. Uh, right. A bunch of those musical apps. And I think he's got one more coming out in just a few days here, or at least, uh, I shouldn't put days on it, but very soon. Um, and he made our awards. So just to yes. say it again, if you've won an award, grab that image from the wiki, stick it on wherever you need to stick it. Stick uh, it. Show off that you're a winner. Stick it. Stick now, it. Yeah, for our next live guest. <laughs> Yes, wonderful. Uh, this next live guest is very, very exciting, uh, especially to us little community members here. Um, yeah. A legend, a Playdate legend. Um, what do you want to say, dude? Or should we just bring him straight in? Let's, let's bring him in here. All right. I'm going to click the button. Three, All right, two, two, one. Oh! oh! <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Quick! Get in here, Nevin! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You clicked the wrong button. I did click. The, I, I dragged away. Here we go. Oh, oh look at that there face. That face. Look at that face. <laughs> Here we go. We're connecting. Yay! Ah, uh, Niven. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello. Oh, we got audio. We're good. All right. How's it going, Nevin? Good. How's everyone? Ah, uh, we're good. We're we're having a good time. Uh, how are you doing? What what a beautiful room you have back there. You have a beautiful room? I'm Sorry, stuck in a one-bit world? <laughs> you yeah. may have lost us for a second. I said, what a beautiful room you have back there. Oh, yeah, I just live in a Playdate game. I've yeah. For, lived for the past 13 years of my life as we've been working on this thing. Um, that's all I know anymore. Uh, hey, everyone, I'm Nevin Mergen. I'm a designer, I think. And so I worked on Playdate and, you know, many other things Panic works on, but yeah, primarily Playdate these days. Um, yeah, I work on like the Playdate software. Uh, I work a little bit on the hardware, branding stuff, whatever, and a bunch of uh, games. I work on B360 Inventory Hero, a ton of other stuff that may or may not have shipped. Um, so yeah, I've been living and breathing Playdate basically for a decade. Wonderful. We're so thankful that you could come and help us, uh, you know, present the first lot of our general awards. Yeah, well, it, it's what you put on is amazing. I'm just like so blown away, but by how much work you put into this. And like, I would, we were just talking to Panica, we have to keep reminding ourselves that like all of this amazing stuff is for like our little gaming console, you know? Cause like the level of like quality and excitement may kind of just eventually go like, oh, this is just like a cool thing out in the world, you know? But it's actually kind of our thing, which is amazing. Yeah, thank um, you. I'm here to present two awards, right? So yes. the award for the most anticipated Playdate game uh, as voted on by the community and the cranky award for the outstanding use of the crank um, and it's been just unreal to see all these games that the played community has uh come up with um just look at these people are attempting like art styles and like technical challenges and kinds of games that we had only ever dreamed we would see on Playdate someday so thank you so much everyone for all your passion and all your work and keep them coming i want to see more incredible games that you know i've never even thought of before so for this award the community uh, voted on what games they're most excited to see come to uh play it in the near future um so let's check them out the first nominee is comet by donald bubbins fraser and steph prince paris uh an incredible use of pulp this is one of those games that definitely you know you kind of have to pinch yourself to, re you know, remember that this was actually made in cult. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to see what all, what all happens in this thing. Our second nominee is Mars After Midnight, developed by Lucas Pope. I think anyone who knows his name and his games is going to be just out of their mind excited for Mars After Midnight, because this is the person who made Papers, Please and Return of Overden. Um, and with Mars After Midnight, and he has an amazing blog about this game, if you haven't checked it out, just like the level of care that he's putting into this and thought just guarantees that it's going to be something really, really special when it comes out. Our third nominee is Peer Racing Develop Resolvey Productions. Uh, what this game is pulling off on Playdate, once again, just all of us at Panic are looking at this and going like, how? We absolutely did not expect that this could work. But, you know, 
people are super smart and they try different things and they manage to deliver something like this that just looks incredible. I mean, technically it's, you know, impressive, uh, but also it's just like super well designed and looks so fun. I've played some, you know, early builds of it and it, it's just so like, yeah, feels so smooth and satisfying. You. I've seen you and our final nominee is Waste Braver, developed by Strangest.io. The vibe of this game is so cool. It's like a sick comic book slash, you know, uh, animated movie um, slash like, uh, you know, like fantasy setting where it really transports you into a particular like state of mind. And, you know, uh, it does so much just with like simple pans in the animations where uh, it's just really makes you feel like there's a ton more actually happening on screen um, than there is. It's just a super cool uh, mood for the game. Well, personally, I can't wait to play all these games. I'm installing them the second that they're out. And I, once they're in our hands, we are all going to consider them just you know, in Slate Ape Classic. However, only one was chosen by the Nitty as the most exciting one to look out for. So, without further ado, the award for the most anticipated game goes to... Waste Braver, developed by Strangers.io. Uh, Strangers.io are just an unstoppable force when it comes to creating Playdate games. Their games all have like tremendous art and the cinematic setting and like satisfying gameplay that you can just feel under your thumbs, you know, just by looking at these screens before you've even picked it up. So I think this is a more than well-deserved win going to a developer that I expect a lot from in the future. And next, it is time to give out the Cranky Award. The Cranky is... Uh, the award for most, uh, you know, creative use of the crank. Crank is one of Playdate's sort of signature goofball touches, and this award recognizes those games that make, uh, you know, the most creative use of it. Uh, not every game uses the crank or uses it a lot, but these ones decided, you know what, the console has a crank, we are going to use the crank. Um, so let's look at those nominees. The first nominee is A Balanced Brew, developed by Frank B. Sad Games. You can use the crank to uh, pedal and uh, balance a unicycle while you go get your espresso. That's one thing you can do with the crank. Crack the Three guys are sitting in a bar when a great fairy appears. Our next nominee is a joke that's worth 99 cents, developed by Cammy Box. A crank to bounce a little man on his butt while you listen to the world's longest joke. That's a thing you can do with the crank. It's a beautiful. Three guys are sitting in a bar. Our third nominee is Kranken's Time Travel Adventure, developed by Uvula. You can crank to control time and space while being late for a date. That's a thing you can do with the crank. And our final nominee is Flipper Lifter, developed by Serenity Forge. You can crank to provide uh, municipal transit for penguins. That's a thing you can do. So two of these games are available in Playdate Season 1 that comes with the Playdate. Um, and uh, we were so grateful to these developers for being on board for the season, and they were so excited to immediately start using um, the crank. And a balance brew and a joke that's worth 99 cents are available to um, sideload. Um, and they really showed us what the Playdate community can do, which was, you know, incredible. Um, none of us thought of these uses for the crank, uh, bouncing a little man on his butt or, you know, unicycling to an espresso, but uh, there they are. And, you know, the moment you see them, you're like, yep, that's that totally uh, makes sense. So for the Cranky Award, for the most creative use of the crank, the award goes to... Kranken's Time Travel Adventure, developed by Uvula. 
So this was the first Playdate game that we showed to the world because it demoed so well what's special about Playdate. Keita Takahashi, the artist behind it, he insisted on going crank only, just refusing to use the A and B buttons, anything else. And I think it shows because this is a game that would be impossible without the Playdate crank. With the crank, it's challenging, it's smooth, it's hilarious, it's kind of maddening. Congratulations, well-deserved win. And thank you to the whole community for supporting Playdate. Thank you to all the developers who have worked so hard to deliver these amazing games. It means the world to us that you took our silly little Playdate console seriously enough to you know, invest your time and effort and energy into it. Uh, always such a joy to see what you make with it. And thank you to everyone in the community who is supporting these developers, uh, you know, supporting us. I'm looking forward to uh, more incredible games in the future. Please keep them coming. Well, we have a little bit of a delay um, from you, but since you're giving out some thanks, Bubs, uh, <laughs> we kind of want to say thanks to you as well, right, Bubs? Oh, Bubs, you're muted. You're still muted. While we've got you here, Nevin, we would like yeah. to present you with a Community Hero Award. Oh, no way. Thank Absolutely you. way. Da -da -da -da. Uh, pin that on your chest. Here you go. Um, <laughs> Right even there. in the early, early days right of this community, even before I was here, um, you were in the Discord squad uh, server. Um, you really helped set the tone for how people speak to each other. You were encouraging. Uh, you would actively brainstorm and bounce ideas off people. Um, and you handed out a lot of really great advice to people like myself, just learning the ropes on how to develop. And then obviously, there was the photos of the pizza. And so, uh, <laughs> when the playdate shipped and the community started growing rapidly, I know you needed to step back, um, but you gave us a lot of your time, and I really, really thank you uh, for everything you gave to the community. Well, you're, you're welcome. It was it, it was incredibly fun. I'm I, you know I, I uh, you know I feel sad that I'm not there as much these days, but like there's a lot more to do once we yeah. ship playdate. Now it's time to move into the mode of like what else do we do with it. And so that's what I'm working on. And, you know, again, I'm sorry not to be there, but the more time I can devote to working on it, the more cool stuff we'll have for yeah, you. Yeah, we thank you for that. Yeah, thank you, Nevin. You're the now, best. Uh, it didn't quite make it in time for the show, but the artist uh, Gato, 6ATO, who makes the Playdate zine, he has uh, created a beautiful poster uh, commemorating this achievement for you. So uh, oh. he'll be sharing that. He might be sharing it in the chat now, well, he's certainly be sharing it on. Uh, we'll share it later. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. It's a. It's a. Bubs, what is it again? It's a poster. It's a poster. It's got commemorating it's got little, Nevin. Uh, you know, it's got a little cartoon Nevin. I'll bring it up on my phone. Oh. I, I have to see this. That's gonna be incredible. Da, 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 I'm gonna virtually da, da, da. lean in over your shoulder. Oh, please! I'll I'll log into oh, the Discord. Oh, that's awesome. Now. You see that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, anyway, it's going to be shared. Amazing. It's going to be shared in the chat. Um, thank you so much, Gato. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank well, you, Nevin. We'll have to yeah. say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, uh, Nevin. the rest of the show. This thing is going incredibly. I can't wait to watch the rest. Yeah, thank you. We, we can't believe it's going so well either because there's <laughs> so many parts that can... Luckily, the internet gods, knock on wood, have been very generous to us today. Um, I have not dropped a frame, uh, which is so rare uh, on the internet. Anyway, thank you again, Nevin. Um, have a great day. Keep doing what you're thank doing. You. Uh, we are very happy with the work y'all are putting out. Cool. Thank you so Farewell. much. Farewell. Yeah. Ciao. Oh, wow. Look at that transition. Pretty good. There Pretty good, go. guys. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right. All right. Who wants to see two more trailers? Me. I do. Yeah. All right. Hey, what's up, Pajama Torture? Um, all right. Let's do some. Let's do some trailers. Here we go. Master Oracle Plus. We have found the intruder. Zayden, Zayden. You and your sister are very special humans. Did you think I found you by accident? I purposely gave you my gift. It was not a dream. Your powers granted me a bipedal form in over 5,000 years.
I saw you in the library with that annoying reptile. I've seen you talking to Fortune Cookie. Not to mention, wandering around the Spiritium and ending up in places that are strictly off limits. You've even tried to run away from my people. You two are no longer normal humans. This world is beyond saving. Decide now, child. Remain here and wither away or become an unstoppable entity. Wake up, Satan. What the heck was that? Soothsayer, the Oracle Pass knows all. Coming to Playdate February 2023. Your destiny has already been decided. Whoa! Two great, great trailers there. Um, <laughs> first off, uh, Zanya Lasagna, congrats on another game uh, coming up release. Zanya is a currently a pulp master, may graduate soon. Pulp we'll master. see. Uh, I am wearing one of Zanya's pins right here from her Reach oh. the Ocean game. Um, wow. Very excited to continue to see uh, her games pop out and then of course i think we should watch it again because it was only 15 seconds long <laughs> corporate tax evader 2 I'm, let's do it again i want to see it one more time okay. i'm being okay. being selfish here we go <gasps> yes i would watch it again but <laughs> be, it might be one too many that was amazing that game uh still super super popular it's like such a great entry into the play date and i still see it all over itch yeah. um amazing concept amazing humor and art uh so excited to see it return yeah yes hey we're reaching we're getting close to the end of the show we've got a few more uh awards for some technical awards coming up then we have the biggest mega drop you've ever seen from the Strangest I.O. crew. Uh, and then... And an after party. Oh, and then the Game of the War Year Award. Oh, oh. The Game of the Award. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about so, that. So, um, let's keep moving. We're going to welcome our last live guest, uh, Squid Dev God. Or... Squid God Dev. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. bring him in. I'm gonna try and time this perfectly. So I've clicked the button. I'm gonna time it. Huh? Oh, look at that! <laughs> yeah! What a there he is. Hey, what a what's transition! Up? What's up, Squid? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, you. Uh, <laughs> the name. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Butchered it. Hey, we got it right now, though. It's correct in front of you, right? Uh, yep, that's right. All right, we're nice. so glad you could be here with us. Yeah, yeah. Me do you want to tell people who you are? Yeah. Um, so my name is Atsu, also known as Squid God Dev, and I make tutorials, uh, games, and devlogs on YouTube. Um, I mean, it's been really, really amazing being part of the Playdate community. Uh, I I made my first video about eleven months ago uh, when Pulp first came out, and you know, I quickly found myself. And, you know, surrounded by an incredibly nice, fun, and creative group of individuals that make up the community. Uh, I mean, but it's been my personal pleasure to be able to interact with people all over the world that I never would have been able to meet otherwise. And uh, also have a small role in teaching people how to play, uh, make games for the play date. And uh, I've also been able to witness some incredibly creative developers make some super amazing games. and. Uh, which has been extremely inspiring. Um, and 
speaking of talented developers, I'm here to uh, present the award for Outstanding Technical Achievement in a Pulp Game and Outstanding Technical Achievement in an SDK Game. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, we can just jump right into it. Um, so Pulp, yeah, my first few Playdate videos were about Pulp. Um, and I found it really fun to work with, but I was constantly hitting this kind of technical wall uh, that I couldn't seem to pass. But I started seeing some Playdate or Pulp games come out that completely blew my mind, which was which with like what was able to be achieved. And I've been really, really impressed with what people have been able to do. So let's take a look at our nominees. Um, the first nominee is Along Came a Spider, developed by Fat Nose Games. And our second nominee is Art 7, developed by Ledbetter. And our third nominee is Castle Helios, developed by Chung Junbu. And um, our final nominee is Island, developed by Ron Lent. The uh, four horsemen or whatever it was called. <laughs> uh, you got yeah, it right. Guys, yeah, the goat, goats of pulp. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, these games are all awesome and, and really push the boundaries of pulp. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a tough call. And the, uh, the award for outstanding technical achievement in a pulp game goes to Castle Helios, developed by Chung Jung Boo. So when I first saw Castle Helios, I, I'm not even lying, my jaw literally dropped to the floor. I couldn't believe it was made in you know the same pulp tool that I used myself. And actually, a uh, funny story, the first thing I tried to do in pulp was to make a platformer, like literally the day it came out and I failed <laughs> miserably. Um, and but you know, uh, he's able to pull it off, and I can't also can't imagine the amount of work that went to creating those super smooth, buttery animations. Congratulations, and absolutely deserved. And now on to the SDK. Um, so that's what I use. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. Uh, this is the tool that Panic made to allow devs to unlock the full potential of the play date. Uh, I've been developing in the SDK almost every week for the last nine months. No joke. I've literally been coding in the SDK like pretty much every week, but I haven't been able to get even close to how creative and technically impressive these games are. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the nominees. Uh, the first nominee is Kranken's Time Travel Adventure, a classic developed by Uvial. And our second nominee is Daily Driver. Develop, developed by Ginger Beard Man. Uh, our third nominee is Legend of Etat, uh, developed by Gareth Williams. And our final nominee is Ratcheteer, developed by Sean Inman, Matthew Grimm, and Charlie Davis. Uh, you know, there's lots of strong season games in this category. It's going to be a really close call. And the winner of Outstanding Technical Achievement in an SDK game goes to... Daily Driver, developed by Ginger Beer Man. So, uh, we saw Matt Sefton earlier. He runs a blog uh, covering the development of Daily Driver that I've been following. And he's been able to do some crazy, technically impressive stuff. Like, he did partial screen updates to push past the... 50 FPS cap supported by the SDK uh, to run it at 60 frames per second. Stuff like that. Insane. Uh, congratulations on the much deserved win. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Um, I mean, I can close it off, I guess. Whoa, the... what's going on there? Let me fix that. Let's see where that is coming from. We're getting a little piece of your couch over there. Um, nope. 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 I bet it is coming from... There. Nope. Wrong one. Hey, Squid. Well, uh... Yeah. We... You just keep... Oh. oh, that's it right there. Keep talking. There we are. I'll find you what? eventually, Bub. Yeah. Do you want to tell us, um... 
about, I don't know, uh, some of your favorite games that you've made in the last year? Oh, some of, I mean, <laughs> the games I made, um, I don't know. I, the thing is, I've been using the Playdate to learn game development. Um, so every game is, is getting a little bit better. Um, I mean, I, I think in terms of polish, I, I guess I like my latest game almost tennis the most. most yeah. But I'm not not truly happy yet with um, where my <laughs> game development skills are at yet. But, you know, I, I, I think there's I have a lot of room for improvement. So I'm really excited to see where 2023 goes, because I think I'm really going to try to get into my groove with game development in, in that year. Yeah, I think we're really lucky to have you around. And that's why yes. I want to present you, Squid, our very last Community Hero Award. Oh, hey! nice. hey! Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, one hopes that when a community matures, high quality kind of materials and tutorials and that sort of stuff is created to enable people to take their first steps in a, you know, to making something. Um, Pulp was released on January 20th this year. And your Pulp Script Beginner's Guide was released on January 25th. Like five yeah. days after it came out. <laughs> yeah. And it's such high quality. It's amazing. I, I seriously probably watched that video a dozen times where I'm putting the laundry up in the garage and I have my iPhone there and I'm just like trying to learn. I'm trying to absorb your knowledge. And it's just so good. Your, photos, your videos are very funny. They're very informative and concise. Uh, you tell stories that everyone can kind of follow along with and you're really honest. It's like we actually are really so lucky to have such high quality stuff that you make. Um, uh, 100%. I've seen countless messages from the community sharing how much yeah. they love your videos. <laughs> and so, yeah, I want to thank you so much for all the ways you've supported oh, the community man, this I'm year. Oh, I'm yeah. so honored. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> thank you, everyone. It's yeah. amazing. You do amazing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, good. Nevin posted. Uh, oh, that's your Patreon. Yeah, the, follow yes. him on YouTube and definitely go to his Patreon for a hundred percent. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and you've written a book too, right? To help. Yeah, develop? it's a sh it's a short little book um, uh, teaching Lua. So if you're interested in learning Lua, um, I mean, you don't have to buy the book. I I, I made two videos on it. Um, they're available for free on my YouTube channel. But if you just want to see it in like written form and I expand on some topics, um, yeah. like it's for like complete beginners. So if you never touched a line of code, right? Um, right. That's what I try to do with the videos yeah. as well. So I've referred God. so many people that want to learn, you know, how to make a game to you, and I'm glad you're yeah. there. Like I wouldn't have anything else to send them to <laughs> except for like text somewhere. Yeah. Text. Yeah, Who wants text? <laughs> Andrew and I were talking a little bit earlier about how he has built his empire on the niche community of the Playdate and the niche community of within that of a Twitch show. Yeah. And, and you're all kind the of insane, right? Five people that use Twitch, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, I think I, I love how honest you are in sharing um, how, you know, your journey of making this a living out of this is going. And it's hard, you know, the, the Playdate community is small. Um, but I don't know, I think as you said a little earlier, right, just the community is so cool, it's hard not to kind of be involved in it. And, and For sure, definitely. Love. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. I know, it's super fun. Everyone's super nice, so, you know, I, I love doing this stuff, so. Cool. Well, thank you so much for coming today. Thank we you. we got to keep moving. Yes. Yeah, thank you. So let's um, see how well we can say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Squid. <laughs> goodbye, Squid. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Boom. Hey! Oh awesome, man! Awesome, awesome. Next. Um, wow. Next. Next is. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't want to like spoil anything, but at the same time, I just want to say no. your draw, your jaw is gonna. People aren't hit. ready. They are not ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready when I saw this. We were. We knew what to expect, and we weren't ready. Um, okay. Back this away. is. This is. You've probably seen it advertised on Twitter. And everywhere else. This is the strangest.io, uh, one of our pro esteemed developers in our community. This is their mega drop. Mega drop. drop. drop, drop, drop. And <laughs> all I gotta say is like, your jaw is going to hit the floor <laughs> in so many ways, in so many different ways. I'm so excited to show you all this. <laughs> Here um, you go. Well, go yeah, ahead, folks. Let's do it. Oh, just. Do you uh, you want to slide something out, in? You know, oh, just. Uh, don't, just don't keep. Okay, just go, just go, go. You can say something, just don't spoil it. No, I was just going to say, look out for um, Strangers, uh, throw in links in the chat, oh, throw yeah, in links over Twitch. Uh, 100%. Twitter. Here we go. Prepare yourselves, everyone. 
three, two, one, never drop. Strangest.io Yo, play day brothers and sisters. This the Island Boys coming at you straight from the Caribbean. We know today's a special day for y'all. We love that crank. We love the little yellow buttons for real. We'll be on our feet standing proud out there with all the gamers holding it down for the crank. And that's facts. That's facts. That's why we be bringing the biggest, boldest, nastiest announcement from the Strangers.io game. The Strangers.io Mega Drop. Hey, yo, I can't believe it's finally here. Nothing, brother. We got two of the new games on um, God. Hey, uh, we got the Waste Braver Combat Demo. Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead. And we got no more, no more. I can't take it, brother. We got the Mega Drop Mega Sale. Oh, you already know what time it is. Freak yeah. out dance. Yeah, that's dance. right. All that and more, baby. Shout, Shout out Tiny, Tiny Yellow Machine. Shout out Strangers.io. Baby, baby straight, straight to, to the, the top. top. One of the world's. Love from the uh, Island Boys! Yes, sir. Thanks, guys. Now, y'all can be forgiven for not understanding a word of that, but lucky for you, I speak Island Boy. I'm Floppy, humble mascot, ex-con, and part-time MC for the evening. Here's a quick rundown. The fellows at Strangest.io have been cooking up a digital smorgasbord of crankable content for the Playdate Community Awards. We're talking brand new games, updates, and a bundle that'll kick your tiny yellow machine into overdrive. Seriously, you nerds aren't ready for this drop. The absolute scale of this thing, it's just... Damn, I don't even know. It's crazy. Starting us off is my new game, Paging Dr. Floppy, an arcade-style mad dash through a medical nightmare caused by yours truly. It's a pretty sick game, if I might say so myself. Then, there's the Gen 2 update for Shining Gadget and Shadow Gadget. Be afraid, this ghastly addition brings 35 new ghosts to the mix, along with a variety of awesome new features. Then we've got Snoik, brainchild of development whiz Ash K, in association with Strangest.io. Ash's vision for the game blew our minds, and we can't wait to share it with you. And of course, there's the Mega Drop This Titanic bundle features the best titles this console has to offer, all at one stupidly low price. Stay tuned for more. Finally, we've got the big one. It's here, and I hope you're ready, because we've got... Uh, well, what was it? It's on the tip of my tongue. Nah, whatever, I forgot. Must be the crank. Sorry, everyone. I'll try to remember before the end of the show. Anyway, time to get out your wallets, pay piggies, because without further ado, I'm pleased to present the Strangest.io Playdate Mega Drop. First up, Paging Dr. Floppy. 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 Paging Dr. Floppy? Tell him he's a lunch. Welcome to the first stop on the SS Big Reveal. This is Paging Dr. Floppy. An arcade-style romp that has you guiding Floppy around the operating room catching organs before they hit the ground. The more giblets he catches, the more we get to build these suckers. So try for the highest score possible. A new stitch job on the classic formula. You know this one's gonna be a blast. For more information, visit negadrop.shop. Next up, German the Mix with the Shadow Shining Gadget Gen 2. And physical edition release. The conclusive update for the game that took the underworld by storm, this is Shadow Gadget and Shining Gadget Gen 2! With a whopping 35 new ghosts and all new systems, this free update adds hours of content to one of the most addicting games on the playdate! Check out the all new Miracle Swap system, which allows players to craft ghosts from scratch. The GhostNet online application has been optimized to seamlessly trade crafted ghosts as if you encountered them in the wild. So don't worry your pretty little head about that. Now, you've always known that you're the world's greatest ghost hunter, and you can finally prove it with the all new catch rating system. Upon successfully nabbing a ghost, players will now be graded based on their performance. 
Don't let me down, kid! And get ready to bring the terror of Shining and Shadow Gadget to your home with its premium physical release. With a collector's box, CD-ROM of the GhostNet app for Windows, SD card loaded with Shadow and Shining Gadget, premium stickers and poster. This limited edition release is for true fans only. Our physical releases are never available for long. Supplies are extremely limited. So order now! For more information, visit megadrop.shop. This one's a s -s -s certified hood classic. The beast going crazy with Snoink! What's that? Another snake clone? Oh, damn. Wait, did it just collide with itself? This isn't Snake. This must be Snoik. The all-new game developed by Ash K in association with Strangest.io. Snoik has you intentionally crossing over the body of the snake for points. You can do so at the press of a button. But be careful as you can only cross parts of the snake you haven't gone through yet and only three portions of the right color. You can get real creative with this. When the game ends, you get a bird's eye view of your epic creation. Whether you're making masterpieces or trying for a high score, Snoik is an experience that can't be missed. Visit megadrop.shop for more information. Ho 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 holy sh! The mix is going crazy! Get ready for the Mega Drop Mega Bundle! Mega Bundle. You've seen it in magazines, you've read about it in the newspapers. Now it is finally here. Strangest.io Playdate Mega Drop Sales. If you're in the market for some new or used Playdate games, then look no further. Savings alert. We've got The Legend of Etad by Gareth Williams. I Carumba. We've got A Balanced Brew by Frank B. Sad Games. Your wife is going to love it. We've got Stars of the Screen by Moflon Cloud. Don't make the biggest mistake of your life. We've got Sparrow Solitaire by Vogel Script. Un Unbelievable! We're not done yet. We've got Play Dice by Largeman. Christmas is right around the corner. We've got Shining Gated and Shallow Gadget by Strangest.io. I promise I won't lie to you anymore. No more lies! We've got Necro Crisis by Strangest.io. Buy it for your f***ing uncle. We have a special offer for you today. $29.99 for the whole bundle. 0% APR. Is that savings I see? Don't buy from that whiny prick, Danny Bauman. Come on down and take advantage of our red flag event. Come see us across the street from the sand pit on I-95 or by visiting sale.megadrop.shop. Wow, that's a lot of content. We'll see you next year. Much love, Playdate gang, and stay beautiful. Bye, saps. Wait, there was one more thing. It was like, uh, the big one. The closer meant to cap off this whole segment. What was it called? Taste flavor? Paste craver? Oh, right, waste braver. Here it is, folks. This is the one you've all been waiting for! The next announcement's about to put you into a coma. 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 It's the waste braver combat demo. We know you'll have been waiting a long time for any cram of news about this one, so we did you one better and are releasing a demo of the game's combat system. For free! That's right! Now you can experience the console-defining combat of Waste Braver 8 years before the game actually releases. Run a gauntlet of terrifying enemies in this long, brutal test of skill and resolve. Never before today has the crank been utilized to its fullest, deadliest potential. Now you can take the future of handheld combat for a spin at no charge. Get ready, because it's kill or be killed out in the wastes. To learn more, visit megadrop.shop. Wow, that was a lot. Too much even. Almost like a year's worth of reveals in under two minutes. Well, that's exactly what it was. Strangest.io has been releasing games at an absolutely cracked pace. Now, the real work begins. I'm happy to announce that Strangest.io team will be keeping their heads down and working on the one project that really matters. I think you all know what I'm referring to. Just recently, Strangest has received a license to develop on the Nintendo Switch, and this has contributed to a great deal to the delays surrounding Waste Braver, and they're hard at work thinking of the best possible way to port it to the Switch while maintaining its Playdate roots. Strangest.io would like to thank you for your understanding during this terrifying, awesome period of their team's journey. They're proud to be a part of this community and can't wait to see you all at the next Playdate Community Award Show. With that out of the way, I'd like to talk about a charity that's near and dear to my heart. 
Each year, thousands of floppies. What? A mega drop. I'm I don't know if I'm ever going to be recovered from the island boys. Ever. I was not prepared for the island boys. Nobody you seriously, I I can't what I'm look, here's all I gotta say. I've now watched it five times. And I love the island boys more and more each time I see them. Each time I see them, oh my god, the the lines that they're reading from that script uh, is just so they're golden. I yeah, I, I need to turn yeah. them into alerts on the channel. Uh, you guys should head up strangers sometime to hear about how that whole thing happened or what they. Yeah, I would love to hear. More. I haven't Unusual. been able to read all of that what you guys are talking about, but like, yes, we need a behind the scenes video for that video. Uh, holy cow! Thank you, strangers, for making you, such strangers. a mega drop. Y'all are working so hard, and it's just amazing how much you all are putting out uh, to our community and high quality uh, games that you're putting out to our community. So we're so thankful for a shop like you. We hope you guys can stay supported. Um, mm -hmm. We love you all, and your yeah, support them. bizarrely wonderful style. Uh, just keep it up. Keep doing what you got to do. Thank you. We love you guys. Thank you for the mega drop. You guys can't miss the link in chat. Uh, go enjoy all of those goodies. Uh, but before you leave, we have the two final awards, Game of the Year awards, and an after party to go to. Holy cow. All right. Let's bring this home. Let's bring this home. Let's do it. Da -da 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 -da. You're all alone, bubs. We are the last <laughs> presenters. It's just you and I. Um, where's my, where's my, where's my words? Where's my yeah, words? yeah, yeah. Get your words. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pulp is awesome, right? Uh, it's a very accessible tool that makes, uh, I don't know, people. It's accessible for people, anyone to make amazing, amazing games, as we've seen today. It has a simple scripting language, and uh, for me, it was able to act as the first step for me to learn how to program. It's, it's very true to say, if Panic did not make Pulp, I would not be on this show right now. Um, and I probably wouldn't be a part of the Playdate community. Um, it really was, Pulp really was this thing. that allowed me to kind of recapture that creative part of myself uh, and have an outlet to, to kind of put that energy. And so, I love Pulp. Um, I only want to see Pulp grow. Panic, please keep developing Pulp, please. Uh, and I want to thank everybody in the hashtag uh, Pulp channel on Discord for everyone's kindness and patience for me as I was learning and with everyone else as they learn. Um, let's kind of continue to welcome people and, and make Pulp as, as accessible as possible. Um, let's check out our nominees. We've got them all here. Um, the first nominee is Along Came a Spider by Fat Nose Games. Our second nominee is Art7 by Lead Better. Third nominee, Castle Helios by Jong Jabu. And our final nominee is Island by Ron Land. Once again, thank you to the pop community. You guys are awesome. Uh, the award. Give one shout pop. out to the four horsemen one final time. <laughs> You're trying <laughs> to pop. make the four horsemen stick. The pop four um, horsemen, baby. All right. Take it okay, away. Okay, the award for the most... Oh, sorry, for the outstanding Pulp Game of the Year goes to... Island by Ron Lent. Congratulations! Uh, when I played... Yeah, me Mega, congratulations. When I played Island, I felt dumb. <laughs> Every screen is filled with so much creativity. Island is such an amazing example of what happens when you put accessible tools in the hands of amazingly creative people like Ron. Uh, so congratulations, Ron. I cannot wait to see what you make next. I know you're working on another game. Um, and it's just a joy. Everyone, if you have not played it, it's a part of the Mega Drop, um, or at least another bundle that's coming out. So please, go and check out that game. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. The Palm Four Horsemen did it again. Congrats, Island. 
Um, if you have not gone to do a little research on Ron Lent, you got to check out his Instagram to yeah. see his background. Um, obviously, I, I don't know if you guys know the story of Ron, but he's a like a legit artist. I, I don't know how to really define that. Ron, you're in chat right now. You can define that any way you want but he is a yeah designer artist just check out his instagram you'll immediately know what's going on but this was his first game that he ever made and uh dang dang okay Uh, let's get to the final award let's do it congratulations 2020 playdate game of the year here we go ready one take it away oh all right the final award of the night, the Playdate Game of the Year. This was first voted on by the community, then debated intensely by our wonderful judges, who we're all going to think very shortly. Uh, all games are able to win this award, pulp or no pulp. This is the overall big, big kahuna. Um, let's go ahead and go straight into it let me compose myself before we get there all right so i'm gonna get some color commentary yes um one all right so let's go ahead and see our four nominees the first nominee is a balanced brew once again this game has appeared all over our awards um so infectious this game amazing physics with the crank amazing art style they keep adding levels left and right uh, this is the game that i give people when i hand my play date it's like what is this weird thing you've got uh and as soon as they move that crank and they try to balance on that wheel they instantly understand what's going on this game's 100%. excellent 100 percent. next nominee is bloom everybody knows bloom it's been here from the start and it deserves continuous continuous recognition a banger of a soundtrack one of my favorites the vibe in this the writing in this game is so great it's a half idle game we've all played it we've all it's probably have been everyone's first side load game definitely deserves to be here yeah Con- developed by rng party games yes really uh started the show with the showstopper in the community by the first third party released game yeah uh, so good to have it see it see it represented here yes also from my uh, home state, Indiana. Woo! Go RNG Party Games. All right. Next nominee, Ratcheteer. The final game, spoiler alert, that you get in your season. Also, debatedly, one of the best games you get in your season, obviously, because it's here right now. Um, s- sort of a Zelda-like that definitely appears to... in checks all the boxes of your nostalgia while also offering brand new play date uh centric contextual Kranken light action bubs anything you want to say about ratcheteer no uh, that's <laughs> inspiration all right i caught you when you were looking away from the screen but nobody can see you it's all good all <laughs> my right my wife peeked in the cut behind the curtain. oh that's so funny okay net final nominee is Saturday edition. Um, if you guys aren't listening to the the Panic Playdate podcast right now, the official podcast, there's a wonderful interview with the uh, developer Wild Rose um, on this. You have to listen to that. It's just so crazy to hear about how this game was made, and it also very a very new thing to the developer, also, which is kind of a yeah reoccurring theme i'm seeing in our community a lot of firsts done by a lot of developers yeah i was really struck by the little cut-ins the little details of people's faces or door handles what a yes. beautiful touch the little cute hands grabbing uh the doors to open the yep. doors all right let's do this everybody game of the year time oh gosh it is <laughs> Richard Congratulations, well Ratcheteer! Yes. Congratulations! We're, we're gonna get in here and party with Ratcheteer. Oh, we're partying! Yeah! Wow! Congratulations, what a game. Ratcheteer! This is uh, uh, by uh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Bubs. You got, you got the names here? 
Go ahead. My notes. Uh, my, <laughs> my notes. My notes of uh, Sean Edmund, Matthew Grimm, <laughs> and Charlie Davis. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, team. Uh, it is very clear how many people love this game. Uh, it is such a wonderful, nostalgic treat that brings so much new to the field as well. We're so happy that it is on our play date. Yeah. Well, put your arm around me, Garnt, while we close the show out. Hold on. Let um, me, I got to switch the slide first. Hold on a second. Uh, what, again, though, congratulations, Ratcheteer team. You all deserve it. You've won the very first Playdate Community Awards Game of the Year badge. Find somewhere to put it. Print it out. Print three of them out. Four, five. Put them around your room. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Hey, this show was a lot of work. I really want to thank Gant for the amazing uh, hours and hours and hours. His family doesn't know how much he neglected them to make this production happen. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have no. They were in bed when I did all this, so it's. I didn't. There was. That's the cool thing about this is there was zero neglect towards oh, my family. Cool. You're, um, you're a better man than I. Everybody um, was. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I want to thank everyone else that really helped make this show happen. So we're all of our guests. Um, let's go through them. Uh, Okadrian, thank you. Uh, Ni- May Lee. May Lee, thank you. Yes. Niha. Uh, yes. Matt. Uh, Mark and Kinsley, uh, Squid, Nevin. Uh, thank you yes. guys all so much for being a part of this. Thank you for everyone that revealed your game in our show. Uh, I know it can be hard to, um, you know, where you want to give that to, and we're really lucky and thankful for that. Uh, yes. Again, Alistair, thank you for your designs for the awards, for this thing you see up here, um, for the halftime show. Uh, Mac, Paul Prince, and Nick gave really helpful feedback in the early days of this. Uh, Mac, uh, creator of, um, you know, Sparrow Solitaire, uh, he really helped with the data to with all the votes. So it was really great. Uh, Mijo helped with getting the wrapping paper animations for us to bring into the show, and then all of our judges. Thank you so much to all of the judges. Yes, judges. You can find all about them on the awards page right there in chat. Uh, we had a, a health, by the way, don't go anywhere. I believe me, everybody, the after party is going to be just as good as this show. I promise. I promise you stay right here. Uh, don't go anywhere. The judges, let's talk about the judges really fast because we've got they're Nick, such a great Don and Ryan. Go ahead. <laughs> from the low blow for the Playdate <laughs> podcast. We have a tech slug from Destination Playdate, uh, a YouTube channel that just very quickly puts out reviews of so many yes. Playdate games with really great thumbnails. Yes. Uh, Drew Lowe. Oh, yeah. yes. Go on. Uh, sorry. Yeah. These, these people deserve a... Uh, yes. Please follow Destination Playdate on mm-hmm. YouTube. Literally, like, just... They've posted so many reviews consistently of Playdate games. They're one of our biggest YouTubers in the community. Um, and then you just mentioned Hello Playdate podcast members. Uh, and now continue. Yes, thank you. Uh, Drew Lowe and Orkin, two unpublished devs that really helped give some technical views on the awards. Um, love those guys. They're awesome members of the community. And then finally, uh, two representatives from Panic themselves, Krista Mergen and Arissa. I'm not going to try and pronounce your surname. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, thank you so much, you guys. It was a hard slog uh, kind of hashing out those awards. And I really appreciate all of the time the judges put in to to stick with us and to settle those for us. Thank you. 100%. Thank you, judges. We love you. We wouldn't be here without you. All right. Yes, go ahead, Govs. You want to say something? uh, Before we send off to our post-show, the Play Jam uh, uh, Game Jam has recently finished. Play Jam 2. Play Jam 2. And today is the last day to vote on those awards. So head over to Itch. Um, Already? Already the last day. Dang it. I think so. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, over to you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is after party time. Uh, I have a giant smile on my face for a reason. I'm about to send you to the streamer that got me into streaming. Uh, oh. During the pandemic, I needed a new home. <laughs> I found one in one of my old friend's uh, Twitch streams that I didn't know about until he was posting it on his socials. He is a drummer. His name is Narthex. He will drum live to any request you give him. And he is not heard 
he's heard some of the Playdate songs, but he, these will be mostly surprises, and that's how he does this. He's like an improv drum yeah. cover musician. He's in a band outside of that. He's a legit musician, too. But he loves video games. More importantly, he freaking loves video game music more than yeah. anybody. Vinyl stacks all around his apartment. And what makes him even better is his community. I love his community. Thank you to the mods here so tonight. Cool who are from that community. Randy Sandals, Pajama Torture, Dr. Seal Your Face, thank you for modding the show. That's enough. Th oh, Bubs, by the way, I love you. Thank you. This is this would not have started without you. This is Bubs has done all of the the work. I'm more of the production guy here. Bubs <laughs> so much work on Bubs. Bubs man. created the systems and everything to make this show happen. Congratulations. Let's shake on it. Right there. Great job, my friend. Uh, here's your award. I love you. Um, Thank you. We're going to go enjoy ourselves at the after party. I'm so excited to introduce you all to Narthex. Here we go. Just stay in your chat. You can request any Playdate song you want by providing a link in the chat. There will be instructions in his chat. YouTube link, Bandcamp link, SoundCloud link, Spotify Anything. link. Uh, it, it's a QBA system. It's so fun. Narthex is such a great time. Here we go. We are raiding Narthex. Stay right in your seat. It is Goodbye, building. Everybody. It is building. It's <laughs> building the raid. 96 viewers are ready to raid. It's still growing. It's still growing. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of people here. Goodbye, everybody. I love you. Goodbye, everybody. All right, bubs. I'm going to click stop streaming. I love you. Congratulations. Love you too, dude. What a show. Have a good night. Whew. See you next year.